Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your daily updates uh, on Peppa, which it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a mixed update, I would say, because yesterday, um, obviously, what we talked about is that Peppa got a, a significant bearish breakout here below this level at uh, at eleven thousand, which you can see if you go to the daily time frame that that is a significant level. We talked about that yesterday as well, but for those who didn't see it. Um, you can see it's a 0 0.5 FIP. You can see that historically, like it used to be the all-time high since March. And we also respected it very much the last time we, we got up there when we were bullish. So strong level. And what we said yesterday is, all right, well, we have broken down below that. That is bearish. So what we need, and that is still the case right now, and it's still very, very influential right now. What we need is a, a some sort of a some sort of a, a market recovery to reclaim that level and then we can be bullish but until the time um we're bearish right because if if you get a if if, if you get a breakout like that um it's uh, it's usually pretty bad but then what happened yesterday evening in general in my time zone at least it's it's more towards the, the afternoon in the us and uh, in the middle of the night for those in asia um but we actually did get some some bullish momentum in the markets and what that caused and that is something that's uh, that's new today when i reset my camera um, but what that caused is that the daily time frame candle actually never closed below 11,000. So on the daily time frame, we're not bullish, all right? I mean, if, if, if we would be bullish, then we, we wouldn't be respecting EMAs like resistance like this. And the, and the uh, momentum or the open interest would be higher, which right now you can still see, even though since yesterday evening. So, so when we got that uh, brief recovery... Uh, we gained quite a lot of momentum overall the momentum is still dropping down all right so so i'm not going to tell you that that we're bullish but the fact that we actually were able to get that um close above that level does mean that there's potential here and um what's ultimately still the case is that if you if you look at the four hour time frame it's also relatively bullish but on the, because on the four hour time frame we did get the bearish breakout so we were actually very bullish very bearish excuse me but then we got the reclaim here. As you can see, we broke back above. We retested some sort of support at 10,800. And we got bullish momentum from there with real momentum to back that up. So now the main question is, is what will Bitcoin do? Unfortunately, that is still the case. And um, and that's hard to say, all right? Because I would say if you, if you look at Pepe right now, we, we have been bearish since that drop at the end of May. And if you look at the, the structure right now, when we are making lower highs and lower lows, which is technically the truth. I mean, look at this. This is this is correct. Um, then a, a bullish reclaim like we had could be the start of something good. Right. So that could be the start of a reversal. But I have not seen enough confirmation for me to tell you that it is the start of a reversal. So for now, I still think it's good to, to, to be bearish on Pepe. All right. I think it's best to assume um, I don't think it's best to short it right now because we, we are seeing like like Bitcoin, if, if Bitcoin holds this level at 65,000, that's a bullish breakout. And then we can actually see bullish momentum from, from, from Bitcoin. That's very realistic. I might even expect that. Um, so, so shorting Pepe, especially at these levels, is not done. Um, but I do think it's best to assume that we will drop down back below 11,000 11, and that will drop down to this level here at 10,000. 9,500 and 9,000. I think that's in line with the market structure right now. The, the, the only thing at this moment that can, that can stop this is a very positive reaction to 65,000 from Bitcoin. If Bitcoin drops down to that level, finds support and gains momentum, then Pepe will hold this level as well. And then we will probably get into some sort of a, well, we'll get some bullish momentum, but then we'll probably get into some sort of a consolidation, which I would say is bullish since it's a, a discontinuation from the downtrend, if you know what I mean. So I think that's what you need to know. Hopefully it, it makes sense to you. Like I said, I think it's best to assume we're going to drop down lower, um, but but shorting Peppa, I think at this moment, especially since we're still above 11,000, um, is, is still much too risky. But those are my thoughts. That's uh, what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.